Hi everybody! I um, wanted to start off this video just by saying thank you to everyone who's actually followed so far and subscribed um, and is leaving feedback on the comments. I do really appreciate it. Um, as I told you in the first welcome video, I'm very new to the whole recording videos thing. So I appreciate you guys bearing with me as I hopefully get better at not only recording them but editing them so that um, it flows a little better. So today I wanted to talk about <laughs> the infamous holster box. I had mentioned this once on Instagram as far as women and having options for carrying. Um, now, let me preface this by saying, ladies, you do not need a million holsters. You really don't. Um, if I wanted to, I would appendix carry all day, all the time, and I'd be fine with it. Um, I wanted options because there's different times when I didn't want to necessarily revamp my entire wardrobe because, you know, getting your CCW, especially where I live, is already a little bit of an expensive procedure. Um, and so that's where I'm at. I have a couple options. I do have about three or four that I use very regularly. Um, I think, like I said, you could get away with just appendix only or depending on what kind of outfits you wear, two main ones. Um, so let's go over what's in my holster box. Um, in general, my holster box kind of holds everything that's in my EDC when I'm not using it. So my belt, which is a white cryptic from One Shot, it has the lobster clasp, I think is what it's called, or cobra clasp, my bad, cobra clasp. So it undoes right here. Um, <coughs> Velcro for adjusting really sturdy belts so go ahead and loop it through once you get it in place you have the cobra buckle that makes it a lot easier to go to the bathroom um, there we go so that's the belt I use I got very lucky and it was the first belt I purchased I didn't have to shop around to find one that I liked for EDC as well as for IDPA I didn't really want to have oh I use this belt for every day and I use this belt for IDPA and I use this belt for you know something else and I have enough holsters I don't need a bunch of belts the guys at one shot are also really great and really nice and they're local in California so I always like to give back to California as much as I can because you know, it's a little iffy with the two-way community here. Um, okay, so most of you know. If you don't, you will know that I am a crossbreed representative. So I have two different crossbreed holsters. This is their appendix inside the waistband. Kydex leather, we upgraded to the horse hide leather, I believe it is. It has a single clamp that is off to the side. Um, when I wear my belt, I shift it so my belt clasps to the right and my you know because my holster hooks to the left so how that looks as far as placement wise my belt is clipped over here and the clasp on this side obviously recording wise it shows a little backwards but I am a right-handed shooter so this is my appendix inside the waistband my most heavily used holster um, different outfit options I will link them in and hopefully they'll actually show up um, so there's that one. And then we have the hip super tuck, I believe, or the mini tuck. I use this one mostly for IDPA. Um, I do like to have an inside the waistband holster when I do IDPA. Um, so that's where I'm at with that one. But there are a few outfits where I actually do use this to go out um, for concealing with this one. As far as like everyday wear, I feel like I have to wear more layers or boxy blouse type shirts and it's not normally in my everyday kind of shirt so in order to wear that one out in public I do have to conceal or you know be, be very specific about what I'm going to wear and I was actually wearing that today I had it right here but with the jacket and the layers um, it worked very well <coughs> okay another holster in my bin um, did a video about this one. It's the ultimate holster with the ulti clip. <laughs> so it's got the J hook. Um, I really have been enjoying using this with yoga pants. Um, I actually used it the first time the other day with my jeans. 
and no belt. That was really nice. It's just a really nice option because sometimes you don't want to wear a belt or sometimes your shirt um, will conceal well with just a holster, but you add the belt in there and it's like an extra bulking layer. So I do really like that Ulti clip from Ultimate Holsters. Okay. Also in my box of goodies is my Can Can Hip Hugger. So when I got this made, I just got the normal and I asked them for green because I really, if you guys don't already know this, I really like green. If I were to redo it again, um, one of my friends, and I'll have to link it below, got two different, sorry, I'm trying to figure out which way it is on, um, got two different like cell phone pockets on this side. So you'll notice that there's the spot for if you're left-handed, um, you know, you can put like a cell phone card in there. There's a spot for um, four o'clock, I guess, if you're left-handed. And then there's the ones that I use, which is right-handed um, front hip and then right-handed four o'clock. I actually have never carried in the four o'clock. So what I would have done um, if I had thought about it and if I had seen it done before is I would have kept the right-handed for me. And then on this side, I would have done a stitch right down the middle and just made it two cell phone pockets or just have them take this out completely and um, sew this all the way across. So I had one big pocket because, to be honest, my phone doesn't really fit in there. So typically what I put in here is my ID. Um, now, one of the first things I did do, because they do put a magnet on both sides for your gun, um, so there's a magnet to keep your gun in place. I did remove the one that was on the left because it would dig into my hip because I don't wear it um, off to the side, like here. I wear it more where my gun is kind of over my belly button. And so I'm more comfortable with that. I feel the handle sticks out less. Um, some people like to wear it more, you know, off to the side, whatever. So the placement of the magnet from the left um, front holster was just a little too much for me and dug in a little bit. All right. You'll also see me wearing this one a lot. My lime green kydex with just a simple clip. It's got a leather backing. Um, this is just from a local shop. It's from Kubrick of Custom Kydex. I will link it below. Um, actually, I'm going to link all the holsters below so you can pick one up if you want one. Um, okay, one of my other ones that I use a lot is the flashbang. Now, if anyone's rolling their eyes out there because I know that this is kind of like a controversial holster, so to speak. Before I decided to buy the flashbang, I did a lot of research. I looked at who was tagged in. I looked at all their YouTube videos to figure out how it works. But not gonna lie, I was still hesitant. So the original flashbang is this one, which is obviously still in my box because I still have it. Um, so this is the first one I got. And when I got it, I dry fired the crap out of my 43 because it's an awkward draw. It, it's not what you're used to. You know, most people when they learn it's from the hip or from the front or 90% of the time it's from the hip and it's an outside the waistband holster. So I wanted to make sure that I was very comfortable with it. If you're not comfortable with it, you're not going to use it. So that first and foremost is the biggest thing to remember. Um, I like the OG one. It's great. I do get a little sweaty because it's Kydex and Kydex and the boobs and summer, whatever. It's just hot. So when they came out with the Teddy, which has like a suede on the outside, I had to jump right on it because, well, let me tell you, I love this one. It soaks it all up. It's, so maybe that's a little gross, but um, same thing. I still dry fire all the time with this one because it is awkward. When I wear it, um, I do the under method, so I don't wear it up here. I wear it below. I find it to be the most comfortable that way, so that's what I do. Um, obviously, there's a lot of comments online as far as like, oh, you're going to shoot yourself, blah, blah, blah. Well, with any holster, you could shoot yourself, so just keep that in mind. Um, this one just in particular gets a little bit more heat because it's in your chest area. But keep in mind when it's, you know, flush across you and when it's put in correctly, it's sitting parallel with your body. It's not stabbing into your heart like a lot of people seem to think it is. So do your research, decide if you want to get one. Um, I have a couple of the friends who have this and I will put a caveat that a lot of my friends who have the smaller chest sizes said they had a more difficult time getting it to work comfortably. Um, 
I personally have a larger cup size, so maybe that's why I like it, but I find this one to be great, which is regular t-shirts. Um, it's a way for me to carry with regular t-shirts without having to add a knot or do the half tuck or throw a sweater in there. So I do like this as an option and I do wear it regularly. Okay, now let's go into other options I have that I don't necessarily use. Um, the full-on Kydex Kydex Inside the Waistband Appendix. I personally have never wore this in real life. I've wore it around the house a few times, but I just don't like it. Um, and I'll tell you why. It's kind of bulky, so I feel like for a female who's, I, I'm not petite, but skinnier, thinner, whatever you want to say, I feel like it's really bulky. And then I also feel like having plastic against you instead of, you know, like the ultimate holster has is like neoprene and leather. The um, crossbreed has leather. The even the Cooper one has leather. It's a lot more comfortable. Um, not a fan, but everyone has what works for them, so maybe you'll like it. Um, I personally not a big fan of these ones, but I've seen people who love them, so. It's up to you. You decide what is best for you. That's the glory of making your own decisions and being an adult. <clears throat> Another belly band that I have is from Fancy Pants Hold Holsters. Um, she's really cool. One woman shop. She's has these really pretty ones now that have lace on them, but those came out after I'd already got this. So um, same thing. It goes in here. It snaps into place. Um, I like how she does the pockets on this because I can actually fit my phone in here and then I have my license spot. So I do like this one. Um, my only thing is I need to order a um, Kydex Sugar Guard because I feel that this fabric is a little bit, it's still very stiff, don't get me wrong, but I personally just want a Sugar Guard as well because that's how I want to do it. Um, so yeah, that's all the holsters in the box. Um, most of the ones I use, the number one most used, I'd say number two most used is the Can Can. Um, my only thing with the Can Can is that if you're going to be wearing it all day, um, just see how your skin reacts to the, there's elastic in here and it does keep it in place all day, but um, if you're going to be wearing it all day, it can kind of rub a little bit and give you some welt. So if I'm going to be wearing it for all day, I tend to put a tank top on under because I don't want the welts. Um, I also have kind of sensitive skin, so that might be why I get the welting or the rubbing. So keep that in mind. Um, probably third most used. And then this is quickly becoming my favorite. The Ulti Clip is kind of really awesome. So there's that. I use this guy a lot too. I mean, it's great. It's lime green. It's perfect for appendix. Um, because it's a single clip, I mentioned on my crossbreed, I offset so with this one when I wear it I clip it on this side of my belt and my belt will clip over here and it's fine I don't just always hold on to my pants as I go down which <clears throat> that's a whole nother video that I'm looking about is appendix and going to the bathroom so um and then my IPA rig which I was actually wearing today so Besides that, in my holster box, I normally, if I'm not using it, um, how's my Neo bag? My Neo bag works really well. I love it. It's great. Um, fits in my pocket just nice. Makes my mag extra accessible. You know, got the knife. And then I recently added a little mini stream light to my ADC, so I'm really excited about that. And then I think that's all I got for you, so... If everything went according to plan, <laughs> while I was talking, picture showed up that showed me actually wearing the holsters that I was describing. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, I appreciate you guys standing by me and kind of still watching these, even though they're kind of awkward, and I'm still learning how to do the YouTube business. If you guys have any suggestions, please reach out to me. Um, if you have any good links to very good YouTubes on iMovie and editing, you can also send those my way too. Because I'm still learning, and I'm very aware of that. Um, 
yep, I'm definitely going to work on trying to say um less as well. So there's that. But I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Uh, yeah, there we go. So bye, everybody. Hope to see you around. And thanks for sticking with me.